Dave, a little while ago, Brooke said it was buggy out this morning, and I told Made her, I said, laugh. <laughs> when I told her, I said, when you deal with the humidity, it's buggy and frizzy hair. That's what I hear from uh, a lot of folks. We outside. can't have it all. I don't have that issue, obviously, and neither do you, Dave, no. but uh, I know some of us <laughs> that do. But uh, checking in this morning, yes, it is warm. Yes, it is humid. We are tracking some showers and storms once again moving across the area. Not everybody getting wet this morning, but if you get caught in one of these, uh, they can be actually producing some really heavy rainfall. We've actually seen a fair amount of thunder and lightning with some of them, especially west of the Mississippi River. Live view from Sparta looking back towards the north. You can see one of those heavy downpours there right onto the right side of your screen, moving away from the Sparta area and actually tracking into parts of Washington County. Scattered showers, scattered storms in the forecast for the rest of today. We may see a break about midday and in this afternoon expecting a few more to redevelop, especially into southern Illinois and western Kentucky. It does appear there will be a slightly higher chance east of the Mississippi River today. Looking ahead to Friday, stray shower, stray storm possible. I've actually taken the rain chance down just a bit. The heat, the humidity, it's cranking up and this weekend. Uh, well, it's going to be a good weekend maybe to be hanging by the pool or hanging by the lake or finding some way to cool off as it is going to be on the warm side. Southeastern Illinois, Western Kentucky. You haven't seen much rain yet. Now again, uh, tracking a few showers that have been moving through Jackson and Perry counties here early this morning. Heaviest uh, shower right now just to the west there of Pinckneyville. Another little batch of some light rain moving through Washington County over near Nashville continues to move down Route 15 may move into western sections of Jefferson County, Woodlawn, Waltonville, Ashley, and then possibly extend eastward also into Mount Vernon. Further to the south and west into southeast Missouri, though, this is really where we're going to turn our focus here through Stoddard and Butler County right now. Now, these storms are not severe, but they are producing a lot of very heavy rainfall and a lot of thunder and lightning right there along Highway 60. If you're traveling, say, to work this morning from Poplar Bluff to Dexter, you're going to see a really heavy storm. Storm. Those extend northward as well over towards advance and will slowly drift off to the east. It is warm. It is muggy outside. Temperatures upper 60s and lower 70s. In fact, uh, continuing to track showers and storms, though, even as we head into the afternoon hours today. Last night we were expecting a round of storms to move in from the north. That ended up being kind of a bust here. This cold front has stalled out across the northern part of the state back into Iowa. We expected that to drop a little further to the south. Really didn't do so. Now this morning we're tracking a big round of storms out to our west into southwest Missouri. That big round of storms is going to continue to ride to the south, but the disturbance that caused it is actually going to push to the east and maybe the focus this afternoon for a few more scattered showers and storms to redevelop. So again, drying out just a bit towards midday, but but then this afternoon, notice more scattered showers, more scattered storms redeveloping right during the heat of the afternoon. And it does appear again, the focus will likely be into southern Illinois, western Kentucky with some of the warm, humid air. Any storms that develop today could be on the strong side. Main threats would be heavy rain, frequent lightning, in addition to some gusty winds and small hail. A little quieter in here on Friday. Again, I've lowered the rain chance. Still a chance we could see a stray shower or storm during the afternoon or even into the evening hours on Friday. Still think many areas at this point will likely remain dry on Friday. Today, though, the Storm Prediction Center highlighting the entire region in a level one. We call that a marginal risk. So again, strong storm or two can't completely be ruled out later on this afternoon. Pay attention to these rain chances. 40% chance at 9 a.m. goes down just a bit towards midday and then goes back up late this afternoon during the heat of the day and sticks around through the early part of the evening hours. Rain starts to exit a little closer towards midnight. So a 40% chance of rain today, 20% Friday and Saturday. Stray shower, stray storm possible. Otherwise, it's warm. It's humid temperatures in the mornings, upper 60s and lower 70s afternoon highs close to 90. Sunday day will actually be the pick day of the weekend. Slightly lower humidity on Sunday. Still, though, it's going to be warm outside temperatures into the upper 80s and then tracking that tropical system. That's creased ball. It's going to move through the Gulf of Mexico and may bring us some rain into the early part of next week. Now it is time for our favorite time of the day, and of course, that is viewer photo time. Ooh. Where is this at? That is the Rend Lake Dam. Okay. Last night, uh, Barb Clayton actually sent us a great shot there from the Rend Lake Dam of some of those storms that were well to the west of oh. that area, but also another great sunrise or uh, sunset shot from wow. Carroll in Waltonville. And just Good a really stuff. nice farm shot and just, you know, it looks like a nice place to be sitting and enjoying maybe a, a cold beverage and just kind of hanging out for an evening. Yeah, I'm all for it. I can stare at this picture <laughs> a little bit longer. <laughs> so appreciate all those viewer photos. Of course, you can always submit those right there on the Storm Track 3 app and you may see yours featured as our viewer photo of the day.